Well, it's a team team step, really, if it's a step. Um, it's just a commitment to playing uh, a way that we feel is most beneficial to us, spending the most time in their end. Um, when we do it, we're, we're very effective, and when we don't, we can get away from it and spend too much time in our end, and there, that's when stuff uh, bad tends to happen if, if you spend too much time there. So trying to keep them on their side of the red line as much as possible, but it's up to all five guys on the ice all the time to do it. Yeah, it was a good game. I'd say it's close to um, ideal. I mean, Hutch you know, made some stops when he had to, but I think we felt we did a pretty good job keeping him away from our net for the most part, keeping him on their half of the ice, and so that'll be important here today. Have you seen some progress in the penalty kill over the last uh, eight games or so here? Yeah, it's been better for probably, I don't know, it'd be hard to look back, probably three weeks. It's been, it's been much better, even the... The few goals we did give up was on kind of the one chance that we were giving up in our end. So uh, it's always been a focus, you know, continue to be, but it's been better of late for sure. Sure, in your career, you've had to introduce yourself to 100 new goaltenders who come in like Hutch did. Is there a common denominator about communication off the bat? Uh, sometimes it can be more difficult than others. He, he stepped in and did one heck of a job right away. He's pretty confident playing the puck, and, you know, once you go over the the words you're going to use out the ice for certain plays you might want. It's kind of up to everybody to go out there and do it. And he was really great from his first game in there. Um, showed a lot of confidence. And when you, you do that, it seems to give the team confidence. So. Are you getting to know him as a person a little bit the last couple of days? Yeah. Yeah. What is it about the Nashville Predators, do you think, that has allowed them to be among the elite elite? Well, they got a real good player. Or, real good player. Real good team, real good group of players. Great management from the top down, good coach. You got all those things, you're good. This team's had more injuries than last year's. Um, how do you think this group is, is working out with the, with the new guys and the constant change in the lineup? Sorry, one more time. I was. Uh, how, how do you think you guys are adapting to the constant change in the lineups with injuries and players in and out? Yeah, I mean, we've been, it hasn't been too bad for us. We've been pretty lucky. I mean, we've had, obviously, players out here and there, but it's not like we've dealt with a rash of injuries, and we have. We have plenty of guys here with the ability to step up. Um, you know, if we stick to our game plan, we're missing a player or two here or there, we're going to be fine. Obviously, you know, Fred being up, Fred's a huge part of this team. You don't want that. But, um, you know, we got good players here. Hutch came in, stepped up right away, did a great job for us. Um, everybody through the course of the year deals with injuries and loss of players, some more than others. I think we've been pretty fortunate for the most part, really. You guys don't have that same fanfare back there, but what's been able to really kind of click where you guys have been able to get the job done this year? Well, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of things. You know, it's a team. It takes the entire team to win. It takes a great goalie to win. Um, you know, it wouldn't be. You know, Mo leads the league in scoring by defenseman, so I don't think he's. You know. Uh, doing too shabby in that department, or he was at least before last game. Um, but, I mean, it takes all 20 guys to win in and out. They have a great team. Obviously, their D uh, have been an exceptional top four for a number of years now going back. Um, and they got great forwards, too. they got a good team.